Okay, this is the Benedix test. Benedix is a reagent that reacts with monosaccharides. So I have in tube number one um, water and Benedix reagent, and as you can see, the Benedix reagent has some blue color to it. So you want to write down this as your original color. The test is described on page 38. The results section is at the end of that lab on page 41. So you should write down that blue color for original color on page 41 and follow along on page 38. Tube number two has starch. So again, kind of a blue color, although this time it's a little bit kind of creamy blue. The starch has a little bit of color to it. The glucose is number three, also blue. Number four is onion juice with the Benedict's. And number five is a potato slice. So what I will do is put these to boil for about five minutes, and we will be back in five minutes to show you the results. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the results of the Benedict's test. The test tubes were boiling. Remember what color they were uh, originally. So that's the original color. Most of them were a pale blue. So tube number one is water. The ending color is also that pale blue color. Remember, Benedix detects monosaccharides, or simple sugars, and not surprisingly, this would did not change color because there are no monosaccharides in water. Tube number two had starch in it, and this one changed just a little tiny bit. It's kind of a greenish color. So the uh, Benedix reagent is quantitative as well as qualitative. So it tells us, yes, there are monosaccharides present, but it also tells us how much. The darker the color, the more that are present. So tube number three is glucose, and this changed to a darker color. So that is an indication that monosaccharides are present. That's not surprising because glucose is a monosaccharide. So this is our positive control. The water was the negative control. If glucose had not changed, we'd wonder about whether our results were accurate or not. Tube number four is onion juice, and this one also changed pretty dark. So that tells us that onion juice does have a fair amount of monosaccharides present. And tube number five was the potato slice. So there's a little bit of color change here, actually pretty decent, so that tells us that our monosaccharides are present within potatoes as well. So if you look at the results from the Lugol's test when you are all done and compare it with the Benedict's, Lugol's detects polysaccharides, Benedict's detects monosaccharides. So as you can see, the uh, potato had both polysaccharides and monosaccharides, whereas the onion had lots of monosaccharides but no polysaccharides. So how different plants store their carbohydrates is a little bit different. So again, this is the Benedict's test, which detects monosaccharides.